Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally Apple has released the first beta of iOS 16.4. This is a great update and it comes in with a lot of new features and changes. There are some really important changes actually on this update that will have a huge impact in the future, especially for those who try to use iOS betas. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this update, see what's new and everything else that you need to know regarding iOS 16.4. And we're starting things off with web app notifications. Finally, Apple is allowing notifications from web, but it has to be a web app that you have on the home screen, not just any website that can send you notifications like on the Mac. So basically, when you have a web added as an app on your home screen by tapping the share button and add to home screen here, that web app will actually be able to send you notifications. But first of all, it has to actually request you and you have to allow those notifications before they can send you notifications. Another great feature of iOS 16.4 is that now also third party browsers will be able to add websites on the home screen. Just like I did here, you can see with this website from Safari, now WebKit on iOS 16.4 will allow that for third party browsers as well. On the settings app on iOS 16.4, when you go to the about section and you go to coverage, right here you will have all of the devices that you have connected to your Apple ID and you will be able to actually see the coverage for all of them not just the current device we have other devices here you can go ahead and of course take a look at the coverage for all of your devices shortcuts has gotten some really interesting actions with ios 16.4 and one of them is shut down it actually is a shortcut action that will allow you to shut down or reboot your iphone once you have added it to one of your shortcuts you can actually tap here and choose whether you want to use short shut down or restart it will do them both as easy as that you can just go ahead and create a shortcut to actually reboot or restart your iphone another new shortcut action which is really interesting there are actually a bunch of these that have been added with ios 16.4 but here's another really interesting one is the lock screen this is just one action that will allow you to simply lock your device once you tap that shortcut for people who have devices with an always on display you can now also apply the always on display filter to your focuses so when you go to one of your focus modes and you swipe down here you will have your filters that you can add on the system filters there was the low power mode and the appearance light or dark mode and now we have always on display and of course if you have this feature on your iphone you can now use it as a filter for your focuses we have three new widgets for the home screen for the wallet app now you can track your orders directly from the home screen via the home screen widgets and we have three different sizes here so we have order tracking you can see small medium and of course the biggest one if you use this app of course to track your orders now you can have it right on your home screen we have new emojis that have been added to ios 16.4 i believe there are like 30 new emojis that have been added to ios with ios 16.4 and here we have some of them so we will have different colored hearts we have some symbols right here some animals some hands right there and you like shaking head so some pretty cool emojis that have finally been added to ios 16.4 we have some changes on the music app as well first of all we have a button right there on the library to have a quick access to your account profile right there is a new button going right here into different songs you can see we have a new sorting button right there so if we just tap here we can go ahead and of course sort from title to artist to recent and right here we also have another change for the songs when you're playing something and you add something to queue you can see playing next now looks much much different and now let's talk about something really really important that will change the way you update your iphone especially of course when you're trying to use beta versions of ios and that dev beta versions of ios which probably won't be able to do from now on so here's what apple has done now previously as you probably know if you have ever installed a beta on your device you had to download a profile on your iphone that way you will get an update well that doesn't work anymore you will have now to go to general right here and go to software update and then from here go to beta updates and you will have the option to choose whether you want to use the public beta or the dev beta but you can see right here my apple id is not registered as a dev account and of course it won't show me the dev option just the public beta which means that without actually just enrolling my uh, my email into the dev 
into the Apple dev program, I won't be able to actually install a dev beta anymore, which means that I have to pay for that dev account and then I will be able to actually install a beta. Now, this will be, of course, pretty bad for a lot of people who just want to install the dev beta the first thing it comes out, especially when bigger new versions get out. But from now on, this is the way you will be able to actually update. You don't have to use a profile anymore. You just come here, choose what you want to install. If you have a dev account, you can choose the dev beta. If you don't, you have to wait for the public beta to install a new software. And now let's move on and take a look at the performance of iOS 16.4. Here we have a Geekbench test and let's try it out, see how it performs. So here we have the score. So we have the single core score at 1894, while we had it on iOS 16.3 at 1875. A slight increase there, but of course we have to wait for iOS 16.4 to run on the device for two and three more days and then we will get an actual score. But again, it looks quite good. The multi-core score, 5,519 while on iOS 16.3, it was 5,535, so a slight decrease there, but overall, it's pretty much the same as iOS 16.4. So what to expect next from iOS 16.4? I don't actually believe Apple will release a beta just next week because they just released this one right here on a Tuesday. Probably we will see the next beta somewhere around the end of the month, probably on the 27th or 28th of February and then from now on I believe we will move on to a weekly schedule on the releases of iOS 16.4 and then sometime of course in spring we will see the public release of iOS 16.4 which is looking to be a very exciting update just with beta 1 we have more than like 20 25 new features and changes which look to be pretty awesome and we have more to come probably Apple Pay later and all those things that we're expecting to come on iOS 16 should come here on iOS 16.4 before we move on to the first beta of iOS 17. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.